iRadio OU and roaming across your mind. Thank you so much for tuning in to iRadio OU. Um, and right now in the studios, we have a very, very special guest. Okay, all the way from Brunei Darussalam, one of our neighboring countries. Yang mulia Dr. Haji Zulkanan bin Haji Hanafi, the Vice Chancellor for UBD. So, uh, welcome doctor to iRadio OU. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Dr. Zakaria, if you can share with our listeners, uh, how is your visit to our main campus so far? Uh, fantastic. I mean, that that's the first response that I can give you. Uh, I have to thank uh, sincerely uh, your President and Vice-Chancellor, Tan Sri Professor Anwar Ali, uh, for hosting myself and, and the delegates here. Uh, we've had a very uh, fruitful morning discussions uh, with your senior management team today, and, and really, I hope this is going to be the first of uh, many uh, interactions between your university and our university. Okay, now speaking of, of the first of many interactions between UBD and OUM, uh, so will there be any possibilities of future collaborations perhaps? Oh, most certainly. Uh, I think um, this is really a follow-up uh, visit following the visit of, of Tan Sri, uh, Professor Norali to Brunei, to Brunei about three weeks uh-huh. ago. Uh, and, and I think during that time, we were basically uh, having conversations as regards, you know, how we uh, as a higher learning institution mm-hmm. could cater uh, for, for one of a better word, the masses. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you know, I think uh, the world is now a, a, a smaller world mm-hmm. uh, in, in so far that, you know, everything is connected. Mm-hmm. And I think as far as education is concerned, uh, and everyone is interested in education. Now, it is not just for the young people, yes. but it's also for, uh, if I may say, so retirees you know (laughs) and I think lifelong learning uh, exactly Mm -hmm. and I think I think there's certainly uh, areas uh, that uh, we have identified where there would be potential uh, collaborations between our two institutions Uh, I mean at the moment uh, our university uh, it's it's still considered relatively young Uh, this year would mark its uh, 25th uh, anniversary, uh, and and having said that, I think I think there's still a lot of room for growth within our university. Uh, we are moving towards a, a more research-intensive university, and and not forgetting the the teaching and learning. Uh, we're also looking at means and ways of of how uh, we could actually make uh, uh, what you call this learning uh, more engaging, more exciting, mm-hmm. and, and I think. Uh, given the fact that we're now catering for for the the, what, the so-called digital natives, mm-hmm. how can we now uh, encourage learning uh, mm-hmm. through, you know, what what our young learners are now good at? Um, yes. I, I guess you know, not so long ago when I was studying in the university, uh, we're so used to the traditional uh, sort of mode where you know learners are rather passive. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then everything was done by the the, the, the professors. But now, I think I think young people are very demanding, and and so they should, uh, because uh, when we're talking about say the world of work, uh, the the world of work is very uncertain at the moment. Now, what we offer them today uh, might not be uh, something that would be useful for say four to five years time. So. I personally believe at the higher learning institution, what's more important is learning to learn Mm -hmm. rather than learning for the sake of just remembering knowledge. Uh, I think if you could actually graduate uh, students who are good at learning, and it doesn't matter where they are, it doesn't matter what job they do, you know, they will continuously learn and they will continuously get good at what they're supposed to do. So, so I, I guess, you know, back to your question, I think uh, there are certainly a lot of potential areas that we're going to be exploring. I will actually later on be sitting with some of your senior management team to, to, to discuss further in details in, in, in the sort of areas that we would be collaborating with OUM. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, uh, Dr. Zulkanayan, if you can share with us, uh, what are some of the areas, specific areas within OUM, within our, our own capability and means uh, that you found most interesting? Uh, where I am at the moment, CIDT. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that just because I'm in CIDT at our studio at the so moment. It's not but no, 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 it's not at all. But I think uh, this is certainly a a a a very very good uh, what you call this uh, center, mm-hmm. uh, okay. and I believe it demonstrates you know uh, how. Uh, collaboration and teamwork uh, works very well. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was just walking through uh, the CIDT sort of, set, you know, the, the offices at the moment to get to your studio, mm-hmm. and everyone looks very, very sort of energized. You know, <laughs> everyone 
seems to be looking like they're enjoying what they're doing. Uh, and I think it is important now. We're living in a world where, you know, uh, uh, solutions are, are, are sort of, you know, uh, uh, people come up with solutions not just through one person, uh, uh, but but actually through a collaborative yes. effort. You know, there, there is no uh, one size fits all in in a lot of the things. You know, in a lot of the challenges, the issues, the problems that we're facing. So I think, I think uh, this is one of the places that perhaps uh, some of my teams from the university in Brunei would be visiting mm -hmm. uh, on a number of occasions, and and I'm, I'm also looking forward to to have some of your experts uh, from CIDT to come and, and visit us as well and maybe to share experiences and, and perhaps run some seminars or workshop uh, in UBD mm -hmm. uh, as far as you know uh, the concept of designing uh, learning objects uh, the, the delivery of different modules that you do here with with people from from our campus as well uh, so yeah I, I find this I mean you know a very interesting place I, I'm sure there are other places as well but but uh, I think I'll probably be seeing them later on today mm -hmm. okay and speaking of <laughs> other places to see it looks like uh, Dr. Jukarnan would have to leave us very very soon but before you leave doctor uh, would you like to share something with our listeners uh, yeah, well, I, I can't. I can't claim that you know. I, I know everything. You know, uh, I think one of the challenges of being being a vice chancellor, uh, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. is, is actually to provide uh, the right environment uh, for our learners and for our staff as well. Mm -hmm. And I think for 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 the learners out there, uh, my my I guess my only sort of message to them is is you know. Always, always keep up your curiosity. Uh, if you remember when we're young, or if you look at babies, you can see how curious they are. Uh, I mean, they would get up to all sorts of things that we think, you know, shouldn't be done, you know. Uh, I mean, when baby starts to walk, they'll start wandering around and checking out, you know, uh, what's around in the room. And of, of, often, by doing so, they might break things. Mm -hmm. But I think that's important because, you know, it's only through breaking things or, or perhaps uh, a, a better phrase would be through making mistakes mm -hmm. that you can learn. So it's so a learning curve. It's a learning process, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and I think as learners, you should never, never uh, be, be sort of, you know, afraid mm -hmm. of, of making sort of mistakes, of, of experimenting. Uh, but I think the most important is to learn from your previous experience uh, so that's the only message I think I could I could come out with <laughs> okay so thank you so much Amulia Dr. Haji thank Sulkanan you Sulkanan bin Haji Hanafi the VC for UBD okay and especially for all the UBD delegates this is perhaps a walk down memory lane because this song is your song from Elton John <laughs> only on iRadio OUM roaming across your mind thank you